The Empire and Republic have all but fallen. You're our last hope. You want to fight? I'm ready. You do not have to stand against me. Instead, I will share all of this with you, if you will only kneel. Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray. So at Gamescom, Bioware managed to take up a few minutes of the EA conference where they showed a gameplay trailer of Knights of the Fallen Empire. With more cutscenes than gameplay, but hey, it's all an engine, so technically it's gameplay. This video will be going through the trailer frame by frame and seeing what I can pick out and what I think the scene might entail, plus my opinion, so prepare for a very lackluster video and a lot of me babbling. Please be warned that there may be mild spoilers of previous SWOTOR content and spoilers of what we publicly know of Knights of the Fallen Empire. You come all this way. What do you want? The beginning of the trailer shows your character, or in this case Bioware's Jedi Knight character, walking up the aisle towards the Eternal Throne and Emperor Valkorion, with his son Arkham standing next to him. But wait, who's that next to the Jedi Knight? It's Darth Maul! It's understandable that Darth Maul would have a massive role in this expansion, after all he did help you defeat Revan and witness Vicious return, and while he didn't play a massive role in the Zyo story, he was still tied into the story slightly. But it's kind of odd here that he's actually walking alongside the player rather than spearheading. Plus, throughout the trailer itself, it seems like the knight is taking charge more than Darth Maul, as if he's merely a follower. Could this lead people to assume that he's one of your new companions? I want you to answer for your crimes. Now one can only assume he's talking about Valkorion fighting against the Republican Empire. Many people assume that Valkorion is Vichet, and it makes you wonder though, if Valkorion is Vichet, crimes is not the word I'd use. So these next two images look to be of the planet Zaku. In Lady Insanity's video, the link to it is in the description, she claimed from the closed door demo of chapter 3 that one of the options was to escape the planet or stop the sun generator from exploding. This looks like to be the result of the dark side path where you let it explode. I am a veteran of the Great Galactic War. I have carried many titles into combat. Only one matters now. Outlander. Okay. This very short snippet looks like the knight is preparing for battle not long after the confrontation with Valkorion. But who against? Surely not Valkorion so soon. Possibly Arkan? Unless this is very late on in the story or you're fighting someone else. Maybe Ma after betraying him. Possibly due to this line. I will share all of this with you if you will only kneel. And we'll come back to that line later on. The hooded figure you see here is no doubt, based on the clothes, Valen, who tries to stop you from escaping where you've been held captive for the past five years. Now we get to see some brand new environments. The first shot looks like you're still on Zaku after escaping, whilst the second shot looks slightly different. However, it's quite possible it could still be part of the same escape chase. And here she is, the woman herself, Lana Benico, who looks quite different since we last saw her. Then again, it's been five years, and Bioware has touched up the graphics, it seems. The Empire and Republic have all but fallen. There's a lot going on there. As you can see in this shot, you can see Lana fighting her way to someone in Carbonite. That's you, after being trapped in Carbonite for the past five years. And it looks like you get your own room too! Whoop, whoop. Here you get to see the Jedi Knight and T7 in a panic after what looks like the ship you're on is being attacked. But who's that in the background? A new companion? Or could just be no one. Yeah. This next shot of a starship exploding might possibly be the ship you just escaped from in the previous shot. Furthermore, is it possible that the area the ship is in is the Rishi Maze, which had been teased in Shadow of Revan? We don't know a lot about it, aside from it's a dwarf galaxy that orbits the main galaxy. The Empire and Republic have all but fallen. You're our last hope. Again! You wanna fight? I'm ready. This shot looks to be set right before the confrontation with Valkorion, and with Arkham walking down the aisle before you, it makes it look like it was he who captured you in the first place. 
Can I just say that this shot... Wow. I mean, Bioware started to add panning camera movements in Forged Alliances, but this shot just takes the price. This is perhaps the most cinematic shot I've ever seen in SWOTOR. A final note about this shot too gives you an idea of the environment of the Eternal Throne, which looks to be in a massive glass circular dome, which looks just like this part in the Zakul planet concept art. If you're going to build a throne, it might as well be overlooking the planet. You do not have to stand against me. Instead, I will share all of this with you, if you will only kneel. Now, here's the biggest part of the trailer. Is Valkorion really saying that he will share his whole empire with you if you merely follow him? Are you actually saying I can turn against everyone I know, making their efforts to defeat Valkorion seem pointless? Because how many times have you actually faced an enemy and they've shown you what could be if you join them, but the conversation options stop you from doing that even though you so badly want to? I just hope that if you actually do get to join him, it's not a ruse where you're stopped last minute or it was a trick by Valkorion or you're merely pretending. Don't do this to me, Bioware. Please, don't tease this in a trailer and then take it away from me! One more thing I've noticed too, which gives you more evidence into the fact that Valkorion may be Vichet. Surely Valkorion would know of Vichet and what he aims to do with the galaxy and what he's done. So why would he share with you everything he has if he knew Vishit would destroy his empire anyway? Why try to be the ruler if soon there will be nothing to rule? So that was my analysis of the trailer. Post a comment if you notice anything else in the trailer, any theories you might have and so forth, or anything I might have missed. Look out for more videos of Knights of the Fallen Empire between now and release, as news is slowly released over the next few months. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I will see you next time. And a farewell to you. You do not have to stand against me. Instead, I will share all of this with you, if you will only kneel.